Let's head to the diamond. Today's action, a windy one. Fremont Ross on the road at Bowling Green. Top of the second game tied at two bases loaded for Adam Hurenchu. Bobcats looking to turn two. The throw in time at first. Little Giants take the lead. Bottom of the fifth. BG with runners in scoring position. Ryan Jackson floats it high to left center field. Runner tagging up at third. The throw not in time. Bowling Green able to cut it to a one run game. Now top of the sixth. Jonathan Simonowski with a chopper to short. Bat hop for the Bobcats. Gets out to left center. Owen Wright scores. But BG with a great opportunity in the seventh. Bases loaded. But Wright able to get the strikeout. Ending the game. Fremont Ross with some good defense and pitching down the stretch. Holds on for the 7-4 win. Very happy with how both my guys threw off the mound. And I think, you know, our guys on the mound is one of our strengths. We'll continue to improve hitting even though I thought we hit well but we definitely have some areas defensively we need to tighten up and, and keep those innings from happening that that make it those close games. BCSN's Tim Clagg had the call live on BCSNNation.com and joins us from Wood County. The Fremont Ross Little Giants have certainly had their fair share of dramatic games late in the going, including a 5-4 walk-off loss to Three Rivers Athletic Conference Toledo St. Francis, and then a 9-8 victory in walk-off fashion. It appeared they were headed that way yet again tonight against Bowling Green, but they were able to get some timely hitting. They didn't have a hit recorded from the third inning until the sixth inning when Bowling Green made the game interesting. In the bottom of the fifth, they were able to get within one run, but that's when their team stepped up. They were able to score two runs led by junior Owen Wright, who went three for three, including in that sixth inning when they were able to extend the lead seven to four. Wright had a great day, including a triple back to get this game started in the bottom of the first inning. And then he had to come in and pitch in relief work. They brought him in the fifth inning. They didn't want to use him today. They wanted to try and hold him to their next home game on Friday against the start Spartans, but he was able to help close it out for Bowling Green. Well, it was a struggle with runners in scoring position. In all, they left nine runners stranded in scoring position, including leaving the bases loaded in the bottom of the seventh inning. But Fremont Ross able to hold on, pick up a big early road season victory for their fourth win of the season. They'll be back in action in Three Rivers Athletic Conference play on Friday as they're able to pick up the victory in Wood County.